Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the ARDA 101 webinar. Today, we are going to be talking about ARDA RX and the ARDA RX plus travel plans. I'd like to introduce to you um, your speakers today. My name is Jennifer Hope, and I am the affiliate marketing advisor at ARDA. We have Yatin Patel, he is our director of pharmacy services, and Darren Tardiff, our manager of pharmacy services. Gary Sawatsky, our Chief Operating Officer, and Amanda Shaw, our Chief Marketing Officer. Today, we're going to talk to you about the Arda RX um, plan and the Arda RX travel plan. Um, the Arda RX is Canada's um, first plan owned pharmacy, and our members residing in Alberta will have access to the pharmacy and the benefits plans associated with Arda RX. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Yadin and Darren, and they're going to give you a little bit more of a background of how Arda RX came to be and um, the vision associated with Arda RX. Perfect. Uh, thanks, thanks, Jennifer. Uh, pleasure to have everyone join us today. Uh, so I'm just going to give a little bit of uh, context or background around how Arda uh, came to the idea of starting a planned sponsored controlled pharmacy. Um, so through our prescription claims uh, information data analytics, oh, we recognize that ARDA members are unique and are, are quite often challenged with management of long-term or chronic medical conditions. So uh, the pharmacy gives us a unique opportunity to provide some tailored uh, clinical service and support for our members uh, so that they can achieve these health outcomes. Uh, the vision of the pharmacy from the plan side is also to promote some plan sustainability as well. Uh, so with this vision in mind, it was approved by the ARDA uh, Board of Directors as it was recommended by the ARDA Health and Benefits Committee. Um, the, the initiative was supported uh, and uh, ARDA uh, began construction or renovation of about 4,000 square feet of ground floor space in the ARDA head office in Edmonton. Uh, the Edmonton location was chosen uh, as our information had told us again that about 40% of our prescriptions claims uh, were experienced in the greater Edmonton area. So it kind of led us to that opportunity there. Uh, Jen, if we can get the next line. Thanks. Uh, ArtRx will be a community pharmacy. Um, it will have mail order capabilities. Uh, we'll be able to provide, as Jennifer's mentioned, products, uh, pharmacy products, uh, prescription products, uh, and services to uh, residents of Alberta. Uh, the hours of operation will be Monday to Friday from 9 to 5. The pharmacy, again, is a unique opportunity for ARDA to get involved directly in the support of our members' health and wellness. And um, we're really excited for that opportunity. Um, in the preparation of the pharmacy, we've been building relationships in the pharmacy industry. Uh, these relationships uh, have enabled us to be able to provide some competitive pricing on prescription products and, and over-the-counter uh, remedies, uh, vitamin supplements, and also home health care products. Uh, so it's, it's a unique opportunity for us to get more directly involved with our members and support them through their health journey. Uh, the Arda RX staff uh, have been recently onboarded, so I know Darren and I are both excited to to bring them along. And uh, uh, we've we've selected the staff based on their experience as as pharmacy professionals, uh, not only their clinical knowledge, uh, but their experience in the Alberta pharmacy environment. Uh, everyone's well trained and experienced with uh, managing not only the Arda plan but the Alberta Seniors plan as well. Uh, so we'll be able to navigate our members through their uh, through the health system to minimize their out-of-pocket expenses uh, and, and to 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 lessen the barriers and access to care. Um, so adherence is a big uh, a, a big challenge for chronic conditions. Uh, so Arda RX is uh, tailored and looking to support our members to ease some of that administration burden. Uh, we'll be offering some compliance packaging uh, where we can organize not only prescription medications, but there are over-the-counters, uh, vitamins and supplements, uh, these, things, uh, these things that help them maintain uh, their health and wellness. 
Uh, not only are we going to be able to provide pouch uh, automation uh, or, or pouch compliance packaging, but also vial packaging. So a, a more familiar experience for our members will also be supported there as well. Uh, we recognize that travel is important to our members uh, in support of that, um, you know, to, to provide the best uh, 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 and most cost-effective way uh, to protect their health is through vaccinations. Uh, so RDRX, those that are physically able to access the RDRX location will be able to take advantage of uh, routine travel and uh, uh, vaccinations uh, and with no administration fees or costs to them. Uh, we're also recognizing that most of our members may not be able to access the pharmacy directly. We've looked uh, to establish some partnerships uh, and, and resources to provide um, our members with at no cost home delivery. Uh, this may be completed through our, our partners at Canada Post or through our own delivery vehicle or other local delivery vendors. Uh, so next slide here, I'm just going to pass it off to Darren to speak to the next slide. So thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Yann. So I am excited today to speak to the unique pharmacy model that ArtRx is going to grant us. And it's interesting in that ARDA members represent not only our customers and patients at the pharmacy, but as well as our shareholders through ARDA. And so it's really in everyone's best interest that we practice clinical care at the highest level and are really a center for excellence. And so with that vision in mind, uh, we've done some things to hopefully help achieve those lofty goals. And so early investments into automation dispensing technology, as well as regulated pharmacy technicians, is really going to help to create workflow efficiency. We're really eager to grow. And so we've taken those steps to be able to grow with the membership and with the demand for the pharmacy in terms of actually physically giving out those prescriptions. But we're also looking to utilize that workflow efficiency to open up time to be able to do more. And what that really means is there's going to be a lot more time for uh, optimizing that expanded scope of practice that you'll get from your pharmacy professionals. So things that you might have already seen in your local pharmacy, things like your care plans, managing health concerns and questions, travel health clinics, immunization services, even prescribing when appropriate. These are all things that the pharmacists are really eager to get out and do and to spend the time with the members to be able to do them properly. And so that's something we're very, very excited about. Now, we understand that not everyone can get into the pharmacy's physical location for that one-on-one -on -one time with the pharmacist. Uh, you know, not everyone resides in Edmonton. Not everyone in Edmonton can make it through, and that's okay. We're also going to be doing virtual pharmacist access through online secure virtual platforms. What we really hope to achieve is we want to optimize the management of your medications, your health and wellness, and your chronic disease states no matter how we do that. And so if we can give more people access to that one-on-one -on -one time through virtual platforms, even better. Um, moving away from just those one-on-ones, those -on we want our pharmacists to be able to give their expertise in a multitude of ways. And so we're also empowering our pharmacists to be able to do um, extra things, contribute to the Art of Health and Wellness programs for a more holistic approach to managing member health. So you'll be able to see information coming down from them through communication points like the news and views, the artifacts. And so that's just another way you can take advantage of all the knowledge and expertise that the pharmacists and pharmacy staff will have. And so that's an added benefit to the members there. Now, finally, the Arda Rx is very excited to be a premier education site for mentoring students, whether U of A pharmacy students or registered pharmacy technician students. And, uh, you know, recognizing our roots as the, oh, um, recognizing our roots as the Alberta uh, Retired Teachers Association and, and how important education is, we really want to pay homage to that and really instill the values of fantastic pharmacy excellence in the next generation of pharmacists and pharmacy professionals. So 
all these points kind of speak to patient wellness being our priority. And really all profits from what happens at RRX are reinvested back into the Art of Benefits plans, which will really help to serve our members a lot better. And so that's the model that we're working under and very excited to have. And so with that, I'll move on to the next slide here. And for the first time, I'm incredibly excited to introduce the full RRX pharmacy team. So myself, Darren, and Yatin have been part of the project for some time. You may have encountered us or be familiar with, with our names, but now we're bringing on two additional pharmacists, Carrie and Kavita, and they both have extensive clinical experience and a lot of pharmacy knowledge that they're really eager and ready to help share with the members. They're excited to get in and, and complete care plans and help to optimize the health and wellness of everyone. So we're incredibly excited to have them on board and looking forward to when we can achieve that. Next, we have our two registered pharmacy technicians. We've got Abby and Morgan, uh, and they come to us with a lot of experience and pharmacy knowledge as well. And they're both very excited about implementing the pharmacy technician expanded scope of practice. So they're going to be looking to solicit questions about your medication that you may have for the pharmacists. They're going to be helping with device teaching, whether it's blood glucose meters, inhalers, things like that. And through that, they're really looking forward to getting to know the members and, and to helping you out with your health needs as well. And then finally, we do have two very important members of the team, the pharmacy assistants, Craig and Mark, and they both have extensive experience in the pharmacy sphere, as well as a lot of passion for pharmacy. They're excited to get into the space and to help members out with anything that you might need, as well as support us in terms of opening up time for provision of those clinical services. So the team's incredibly excited to get everyone in, to meet everyone once the RRX pharmacy is up and running. So look forward to that. All right, and I'll move on to the next slide here. And so one question we've been getting asked a lot is, how do I get my prescriptions to RRX? How do I take advantage of the pharmacy and uh, transfer my medications over? And so at this point, we're not able to transfer prescriptions because we're not fully licensed, uh, but benefit plan members will have an email sent out once prescriptions can be accepted. So look for that coming to your inbox there. Uh, once that does occur, for our local members, you can come in and drop off the prescriptions at the pharmacy. Very easy to do, we'd love to see you. Understandably, that's not always possible. And so uh, you can always fax in a new prescription from the prescriber directly. It can be sent from the prescriber's office to RRX by fax. Now, we're unable currently to accept any photographed, scanned, or emailed copies of prescriptions from our members. And this is just due to how the Alberta College of Pharmacy classifies valid prescriptions or legal prescriptions. If that legislation changes, then we'll be able to update. But up until that point, none of these will be considered acceptable as prescriptions. Um, so let's say you've got some prescriptions already sitting at another pharmacy that want to be transferred over to us. You can do that pretty easily through the RDRX landing page, as well as our mobile app that will be coming shortly. Uh, and so you can transfer ex uh, existing prescriptions with their refills by either hitting that button on the landing page or the mobile app, filling in a little bit of information, confirming your identity and those prescriptions, and that process uh, basically complete from there. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize my sound is having some issues here. Hopefully this will... Uh, yeah, Darren, it's it sounds, it, um, some of our members say that you're, um, it's a little bit muffled, so I don't know if it's, your microphone is maybe on... Not Let me try this. Is this a little bit better here? Yeah. Okay. Might be some feedback from the headphones there then. All right. Sorry about that. And so, um, yeah, the other way to transfer over your prescriptions is going to be you can phone the pharmacy to start that process. So if the um, landing page, the, the website or the mobile app isn't going to be uh, something that you are able to use or you do have additional questions that can't be answered there, give us a call. We'd love to help you out in terms of starting that process and getting those transferred over this way. Um, oh, I am having some technical difficulties, but luckily, end of my section. If there's any questions about anything that 
came through, just uh, ask it in chat and maybe I'll get uh, Yatin to field those just with a little bit clearer of a connection. Perfect, and then we'll go to the next slide and pass it over to Yatin. Yes, thank you, uh, Darren, and, and apologies for the, the issue there. Um, I, I'm just going to speak a little bit about uh, one of the key features of the Arda RX plan, uh, and that is the prescription drug maximum. Uh, so, with the the opportunity of the pharmacy and and, and collaborating with the plan design, a unique plan design around it, uh, we're going to be able to provide an increased prescription maximum to our members. So, uh, the twenty five hundred dollar annual calendar. Uh, maximum uh, for our RRX plan members. Uh, so members that bring their medications to the RRX pharmacy will enjoy 100% coverage of all of their medications that are dispensed through the pharmacy. Um, what we're also excited to be able to provide is some increased uh, scope are around the lifestyle medication categories. So we're going to in in addition to the erectile dysfunction and hair regrowth treatments, we're going to be also adding a new category of weight management. Uh, and the, another exciting design we're able to implement here is that we will not subject uh, any lifestyle maximum on top of those. So those medications will be subject to the prescription plan maximum only. So to increase some of the access points for other medications there. So it's a really exciting design that we're able to implement under the Arda RX benefit plan. And just to alleviate some questions or concerns here, there will be no change to the overall Arda drug benefit list. So if medications were eligible under your previous coverage with one of the other Arda benefit plans, it'll continue to be covered under the Arda RX benefit plan. There will be no changes or, or removals of any of the products there. If you have a current special authorization with ARDA, that authorization will transfer over to your ARDA RX benefit uh, plan. So there'll be no new, new requirement for any uh, renewals or revisions or a new special authorization. There's been a few questions around compound pro products specifically. Uh, so I'll take the opportunity to, to speak to that. Um, Arda RX uh, will be working in collaboration with a local compounding laboratory. Uh, they will be providing us with a compound products. Uh, if your compounds are eligible under the Arda plan, uh, they will continue to be eligible under the Arda RX plan. Um, so there was one specific question around DHEA. Uh, unfortunately, DHEA is not an eligible compound ingredient under the ARDA plan. So that specific compound will continue to be ineligible. But uh, as I mentioned, if your compounds are uh, eligible uh, ingredients under the compound policy, they will continue to be covered by the ARDA RX plan. Um, Another feature of the ARDA RX benefit is a, the distinguishing between acute care or short-term care use medications and long-term care or uh, chronic disease management medications. As I mentioned earlier, chronic disease management seems to be a key driver or need for our members. And this is where the pharmacy is uniquely positioned uh, to provide support and care for that scope of your health. We recognize that not of all, all of our members will have equal access to the pharmacy for their medications that are needed for immediate or short-term use. So on the presentation slide, I've provided some examples of antibiotics or acute pain treatment or vaccinations. We recognize there's a physical limitation uh, there. So these types of products will not be um, uh, not be required to be dispensed by the pharmacy. Uh, members that get them dispensed by a local pharmacy will enjoy, will continue to enjoy 80% coverage as they would now with their current coverage with any other ARDA benefit plan design. Uh, if they do come to the ARDA RX pharmacy, if we're a convenient location for you, then the coverage is topped off to 100%. But there's no requirement to bring these prescription needs to the pharmacy. However, we will be in a good position to provide your care if, if you do bring them to us. 
under the chronic, I'm going to speak a little bit uh, further to chronic medications. There'll be a category list that we can kind of speak about. Uh, but this seems to be, either, thank you, Jen. Uh, this will be the wheelhouse for the pharmacy, or really the focus of the pharmacy is to support our members where we can anticipate needs. Uh, we can provide a longer or, or maintenance supply of our medications. We can get more involved in the in the management of these conditions uh, with you to ensure that you're in well knowledged and supported in, in your care and in your um, in, in achieving your health goals here. So if your medication falls within one of the Health Canada indications of use uh, under these categories, this is how we're defining that chronic drugs or chronic medication list. And in this case, if the medication falls within this list, there is 100% coverage if you fulfill at RDRX. If you do need to fulfill it at another pharmacy, there is a reduction in coverage up to a 50% covered amount. So this is really meant to encourage the use of the pharmacy when you're assigned, when you're a part of the RDRX benefit plan. Uh, we're reducing the premiums uh, that Gary will kind of speak to. Uh, we're reducing the premiums for the RDRX benefit plan uh, with the, I guess, the understanding or the relationship that we can provide you with the medications uh, under this chronic disease management scope. There are some exclusions to this. Uh, so medications that might be uh, temperature sensitive. Uh, so they need to be required, uh, stable at certain temperatures to ensure stability. Uh, they're going to be excluded from that uh, reduction in coverage. So you can, you can kind of get these medications at any local pharmacy if you need to. But the pharmacy will, again, be able to provide you with these uh, medications. Uh, we're building a relationship with our delivery uh, providers to ensure that we'll be, we'll be packaging in a cooler under a cold temperature and getting them to you in a timely manner. Uh, so we, we will be able to provide them to you, but it's not a necessary requirement and there'll be no reduction in coverage if you don't. And narcotic prescriptions, again, there's some sensitivities around those types of medications. So they will be, again, not subject to the preferred pharmacy provisions uh, requiring you the, uh, to get them from Arda RX Pharmacy. You can get them from your local pharmacy if that's convenient for you. But again, Arda RX will have some provisions and some uh, steps in place to ensure secure delivery to you if, if that's your preference as well. Um, yeah, and then Darren, before we move on, there's a couple of questions in the Q&A box that um, I'm hoping we can answer live before we move on. Um, there's a question about getting um, faxes to the pharmacy, um, whether or not there's going to be a charge um, to getting the faxes and if, whether there's a plan to manage that. So I can address that question. Um, most, most physicians would welcome a fax to a pharmacy. If you go into your physician's appointment um, and you're having a conversation and um, you let them know that you want your prescription not to be in hand, but faxed to a pharmacy, that's a discussion you can have. I think the question may be related to refills, uh, providing refills on prescriptions where you're not physically in the visit with a physician. Uh, sometimes physicians will charge for, for, for providing that service. Uh, but if you do maintain an appointment with a physician, they typically won't charge for directing your, your prescription to a pharmacy of your choice. There's a great question about, uh, will the RDRX pharmacy be able to do coordination of benefits between the seniors drug plan um, in Alberta and then the RDRX benefit plans or other RDA benefit plans? Absolutely. Great question. Um, so Arda Rx will be a fully functioning pharmacy. We're really building relationships with all third party payers. Uh, Alberta Blue Cross being one of them, of course, they're a big component of our members coordination of benefits uh, and how they access uh, and uh, medication. So we will, uh, uh, you know, the opportunity at the pharmacy here is that our, our pharmacy staff is is accustomed to that type of model and, and will be well knowledgeable and positioned to 
uh, navigate you through the coordination of benefits uh, and uh, we'll be able to do all billings through all third-party vendors. So that will not be an issue. And the RDRX Pharmacy will take that initiative to manage that process for you. Um, will members be able to source their insulin pumps and continuous glucose meters through RDRX? Uh, another great question. Um, so we're kind of, again, on those relationships that we're building uh, in the pharmacy industry, being able to provide our members with um, access to all of their needs is something we're excited to be able to provide. Uh, so we'll work with the members to provide them the products and services that they want. Uh, we're getting a lot of interest in the pharmacy sector about what we're building. Uh, so within those business relationships, uh, we're an exciting opportunity. And so they're reaching out to us already to see what we can do to provide service, uh, quality service and quality products to our members. So the short answer is yes. The long answer I gave you. Um, there is a question about um, delivery um, about outside the Edmonton or Calgary city limits. Um, who would be the delivered express or Canada post? So it's an, a, a great question. Uh, we've partnered with Canada post to provide um, our, our kind of outside of the greater metro areas and, and also to the greater metro areas as well. Canada post will be our partner uh, that will provide two door service. Uh, if you normally receive packaged deliveries to your home, uh, you will continue to have that experience. Uh, if you have a mailbox, then uh, your, your prescription products will be provided to that mailbox. Wherever you pick up your mail, Canada Post will provide you your prescription needs. Uh, we'll be providing products uh, that are around, that are, so the chronic drugs list, we've tried to tailor around solid oral dosage forms, so tablets, capsules, um, patches as well, because patches travel really, uh, there's not many issues with pa patches traveling, uh, insulin, or sorry, uh, inhalers uh, and inhaled devices usually travel very well. So we'll be able to package those in those in those areas. If packages are quite large, they may be waiting for you in a mail outlet, a convenient location of a mail outlet. Um, so it really will depend on the size of the package that we're providing to you. Uh, but for those areas we're working with Canada Post, we also have building a relationship with Purilator, uh, Purilator Express Courier, uh, depending on if that product has temperature sensitivity or secure uh, requirements, security requirements around it. And one of those two vendors will be providing some products as well. And, and, and just to maybe build on that, if you're in, in a really remote rural location, uh, this will be a conversation uh, that we can have directly uh, to see if there's any exceptions that need to be built in place for you, uh, because you might be a difficult to access area. So the Canada Post is a reliable partner uh, and has the broadest scope uh, or broadest reach. Uh, so that was why we would determine a partnership with them. Um, did you talk about the delivery within the greater Edmonton area, including oh, city limits and yeah. small communities? Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Um, so the greater Edmonton area, we've excited to bring on an internal delivery mechanism. So we've we've invested in a, in a vehicle for ARDA. Uh, we've invested, uh, we're recruiting a driver, our own internal driver. So uh, we're, we're really excited to be able to provide that level of support and customer service where we have our own de dedicated resource, uh, recognizing that this will be a growing opportunity for us. We've built relationships with a, a local delivery vendor as well uh, that manages their own fleet of vehicles and has their own delivery drivers. Uh, they're really excited about the opportunity to collaborate with us. Uh, it's a great growth in their business as well. Uh, so they'll be supporting us with that greater Edmonton area delivery. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, I, I guess that kind of covers our internal or our greater Edmonton area. I think there's still a little confusion about, uh, Arda RX and an extra monthly premium. And so I think if Gary starts presenting on the difference and that Arda RX benefit plans are their own unique benefit plans, uh, that might clear up a lot of the questions coming in now. So. 
Um, there is one question here. I maybe just, Amanda, if you don't mind, sure. I'll, I'll just address here. It's a, a question around glaucoma medications are not on the list here. Um, and the reason for that is that some of the glaucoma medications are temperature sensitive. Um, they require refrigeration. So in those cases, again, we're not forcing our members to get them from us. Uh, we would obviously welcome the opportunity to provide them to you, uh, and we'll be more than capable of doing that. Uh, but we're, there's no, it's not on the chronic drugs medication list because we're not, there's no planned provisions around ha the requirement to have them completed by Arda RX. Uh, again, we would welcome that opportunity to engage with you and provide that service and that care, but we're not, there's no mandate to do that through us. Right? I hope that clarifies that question there. Great, thank you, Yatin. And I hope everybody can hear me okay. Um, R to RX is two things. Uh, we've spoken a lot about the pharmacy part of R to RX. It is a licensed pharmacy set up to service the needs of our members residing in Alberta. R to RX is also a new benefits plan that we are offering to our members that have incentives for people to participate in and to use R to RX the pharmacy as their main pharmacy for maintenance medications. I can clarify for you that if you do not want to use R to RX, you can stay with one of the current plants. You do not need to move to R to RX if you reside in Alberta. If you are already participating in one of our other plans and your needs are met, you do not need to change to R to RX and we are not changing anything with our old plans. This is only a new plan that we can offer our members who may be interested in increased coverage uh, with very competitive premiums. We've talked a lot about the coverage for drugs and it can be complicated, so I'm going to go over it one more time. If you are participating in the R to RX plan, you can get 100% coverage for any medications that are dispensed by R to RX. If you are getting an acute care medication through R to RX, you can get 100% coverage for that drug. Or if you are using your local corner pharmacy, we're going to continue to cover that at 80%, just like we do now with our other plans. If you are getting a maintenance medication, and that is one of those medications that was on the previous slide, if it's subject to uh, maintenance medication, regular dispensing every 90 or 100 days, you can get that drug covered at 100% through R to RX. But if you decide to use your local pharmacy it's only going to be covered at 50% if you are a member of the R to RX plan. We really want you using R to RX if you said you're going to use R to RX, and that is the motivator. We're only going to cover it at 50% if it's dispensed elsewhere. That coverage will remain, as I mentioned, 80% as we have through our other plans if R is the first payer. In a lot of cases, you can get coverage through the Alberta Healthcare Plan for Seniors, uh, which is adjudicated by Alberta Blue Cross in order to top that up to 100%, but that only applies to drugs listed on the Alberta Drug Benefit List, which does not list every drug available in the marketplace. It includes about half of those drugs currently available in the marketplace. Uh, maximum acquisition cost pricing does not apply with R to RX. Uh, but whereas that does not change with the other four current plans, uh, drugs which have a lower cost alternative available in a certain medical category will continue to be subject to maximum acquisition cost pricing. The annual increase, uh, the annual prescription drug maximum increases. Currently, you have either $1,200 per person per year or $2,000 per person per year. If you participate in the R to RX plan, that goes up to $2,500 per year. And we have some lifestyle prescription drugs covered under R to RX. The only drugs we have in these categories is available with HealthWise Plus or Ultimate Health currently. 
We cover 50% of the costs for hair loss and erectile dysfunction medication, up to an annual maximum of $150 per year combined. If you use Arda RX, we're going to cover hair loss, erectile dysfunction medication, and prescription weight loss medication at 80% with no inside maximum. The claims for those medications are included in the $2,500 per year prescription drug max. Next slide, please, Jen. We also offer other benefits to participants in Arda RX. Uh, so it's not just increased coverage for prescription drugs. We're going to increase the remaining extended health care benefits from 80% currently to 90% for people participating in Arda RX. The combined annual maximum for paramedical practitioners is $1,400 per year, the same higher maximum that we have currently with HealthWise Plus and Ultimate Health Plans. Hearing aids is $1,500 every three years. Accidental dental is bumped up to $5,000 per year. Orthopedic shoes is increased to $750 every three years. Diabetic supplies combined annual maximum is $2,000 per year instead of $1,750 per year. And Arda RX with travel also includes the excellent emergency travel plan that the vast majority of our members currently participate in. Next slide, please, Jen. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to, to Jen after she unmutes herself. Thank you, Gary. Um, so in addition to receiving all the wonderful um, benefits and extended healthcare and travel coverage with Arda RX, as an Arda member, you receive some member advantages on top of um, all of the extended healthcare and travel programs. We have um, a new member assistant program. Um, we partnered with Inkblot and Inkblot provides each of our members, so each covered member with five hours of individual counseling as well as five hours of couple counseling. So this is on top of your paramedical coverage that you receive with your extended health care. So if you visit arda.net, um, you can search Inkblot and you can sign up for Inkblot and receive your five hours of individual counseling or your five hours of couples counseling. Um, we just did an Inkblot uh, webinar 101 the other day, and there will be instructions on how to access those counseling hours on our YouTube video um, on our YouTube channel. We also have our member discount programs. We have the Boom discount program, and the Boom discount program offers some really great discounts on um, hotels, various retail outlets, um, different restaurants. Um, so your there is a fee to becoming an ARDA member, but if you use your Boom discount program uh, once or twice, you've paid off your um, ARDA membership fee. We also have an insurance partner, um, TW Insurance, and they offer some really great discounts on home and auto insurance. And they also have a life insurance plan geared towards our um, membership. So again, if you visit arda.net and search TW Insurance, um, you can fit, find out how to get a quote um, from TW and take a look at all the, the life insurance programs that they offer our members. Um, one of Arda's strategic goals is wellness, and we'd like to support our members' uh, wellness goal, goals in a variety of ways. We offer a photo contest, a physical wellness challenge, a mental wellness challenge, and as well as a writing contest. So take a look at um, your Arta Artifacts newsletter that comes into your e emails and your News and Views magazine um, for the announcements of when those starts and how to submit your work um, to the wellness challenges, and um, you can receive some really great prizes. We also have a scholarship program avail available to our members. So any members, direct relatives, so children, grandchildren, um, nieces and nephews. Um, they can submit their applications um, to a degree or diploma program. Um, and we choose six recipients um, and they are awarded um, up to $5,000 in those categories. Uh, we also have the Arda Apparel Store and the Arda Apparel Store offers some really great um, Arda branded clothing at discounted prices. So a lot 
A lot comes with your um, ARTA membership card in addition to the extended health care and travel. So we just recently introduced a new website, um, artabenefits.net. And on artabenefits.net, you can apply online. You can build a benefits plan that works best for your life, including the ARTA RX and ARTA RX travel plans. Um, you can compare the plans and you can also view the rates um, for all of our all of our plans. Um, if you scroll down to the if you're already a member and you just want to take a look at um, some plan text or um, some rates associated with all of our plans. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on plan text, a page will come up and will bring up all of the rate sheets associated with each sector and every plan. Um, so visit artofbenefits.net um, to get a little bit more information on all of our plans and the rates associated with the plans. So um, this, is, this is it for our presentation today. Um, please put any questions up in the Q&A box and we will um, either answer them live or type the response back to you. I don't know if anyone else um, in the presentation has anything to add um, before we conclude the presentation. There's just a question about openings and availability. So the ARTA RX benefit plans are available now. You can join an ARTA RX benefit plan um, whenever you like. ARTA RX pharmacy is scheduled to open um, next month. Uh, an exact date will be determined. Uh, much like everyone in the world, we've been subject to construction delays and delivery delays. So we look forward to announcing a date in March as soon as we're able. In the interim, if you're on an ARTA RX benefit plan, and the pharmacy hasn't yet opened yet, we do have a grace period. So your prescriptions would be covered um, at that 100% uh, level in using an additional or other pharmacy until the RRX pharmacy opens. Uh, there's a question about acute care meds and what the timeline for delivery would be to the greater Calgary area. Yatin or Darren, if you wanna answer that. Yeah, I, I can take that one. Um, so for the Calgary area, our, our service level agreement with Canada Post is uh, three to five business days. Uh, Calgary being a major metro area, uh, that would be within that three business days is the most likely time frame there. But they've, they've got a, a bit of a, a, a range that they've provided to us. Um, there is a question about if you switch to R to RX and find it isn't working, can you revert back to your previous plan? Gary, I see you're already answering that. So do you want to answer that one live? Uh, yeah, we would normally say you have to participate in the plan for one year. Uh, we don't want you coming in, maxing out all of the higher benefits and then leaving, similar to dental care. For dental care, there is a two-year minimum participation requirement. Uh, for R to RX plan, it is a one-year minimum participation. Um, Yatin or Darren, um, we have a question about pre-arranging a meeting about medication needs with an R to RX representative and whether or not that's available or not. It, definitely, I can make myself available uh, if there are any questions or specific uh, concerns. Um, I can uh, I, I can share my email address and and uh, we can we can have a conversation. I could potentially get one of the other pharmacy team members to to address some specific questions there as well. So yeah, no 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 no, no issues there. I'll put the general email address for RDRX and the general phone number for RDRX in the chat box, and you can uh, take down that information if you'd like to contact the pharmacy team. Perfect. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah. Um, there is a question for ongoing prescriptions. Will refills be sent out for delivery automatically? It's a great question. Um, and this is where our team would be very supportive of the individual. We would like to, of course, manage our workflow and schedule refills. Uh, but we also don't want to burden the member with tablets showing up that are not needed. Uh, if they're, uh, what we're hopeful to implement is a bit of a discussion or agreeable, we'll schedule the date uh, to have it filled for you. Uh, if there needs to be, um, you know, let's, let's say there were a few days you didn't take it, uh, or you had some existing supply from somewhere else and you want to defer for a couple of weeks, that's the pharmacy staff would be more than helpful and agreeable to kind of make that scheduling arrangement for you. So it would be an ongoing dialogue with the member and uh, with the pharmacy team. Uh, we've got a couple of contact points to support that communication. Um, 
if you need your refills uh, prior to because of a travel arrangement or or just access, you can always fill uh, send in a refill request on our uh, Arda RX uh, landing page, or we hope to implement uh, a, a mobile app as well. Uh, from your phone, you can send in a refill request and you can always call us as well, call the pharmacy uh, line and, and make those arrangements. We'll have a, an automated system that can um, take a message and, and the staff will, will, will be able to kind of address your needs uh, on that. So I hope that addresses that question there. And I want to use a lifestyle medication. I previously submitted paperwork from my doctor and the prescription uh, was not covered by ARDA because they were on one of the plans that does not cover lifestyle medication. Will they have to resubmit paperwork to ARDA RX or what do I have to do to have the medication paid for? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. Um, so at this point, the only access to uh, some uh, weight management drugs is through ARDA RX. Um, Previous special authorizations would have been declined uh, under the, the, the this drug is not eligible, so it wouldn't have gone through the clinical review to ensure that the indications of use are uh, are captured within uh, the Health Canada indications of use. Uh, so resubmission under your ARDA RX benefit plan in this situation would be required. Uh, the the special authorization would go to our partners at Green Shield Canada for that clinical review and a decision would be based on that clinical review and not based on an access or eligible under the plan review. So um, if there is some concerns there, again, just contact that contact at rrx.net. We'll be happy to, to walk, walk you through that process. There's a question. So we are snowbirds and spend five months uh, in the USA. Can you talk a little bit about when can RRX send prescription medications to a US address? and to the early refill programs? Yeah, uh, absolutely, great question. And I'm sure it'll be applicable to many members. Uh, unfortunately, ArtRx will not be able to ship medications outside of the province of Alberta. Um, what we can do, much like your local pharmacy probably provides you right now, is coordinating that greater than 100 days supply. Uh, for your regular medications. Uh, that's something that our pharmacy, again, uh, tailoring our service and our, uh, to our ARDA members, uh, you know, with enough notification, we would be able to schedule your medications in a way that gives you the maximum amount, uh, you know, for coordinating with the Alberta Seniors Plan, working under their plan provisions, uh, as well as artist plan provisions. So um, we would be able to provide that to you um, and work collaboratively with you, much like your local pharmacy does now. But unfortunately, we're not able to ship outside of Alberta. Uh, will the pharmacy be able to work with naturopathic doctors to receive prescriptions? If if your uh, healthcare provider is licensed to provide prescriptions, uh, it, it has prescribing privileges, uh, the, the pharmacy will be able to work with them. Uh, so that goes with uh, nurse, pra nurse practitioners. Uh, many of our pharmacists will have additional prescribing authority uh, so uh, one of the questions was potentially around the cost of refilling um, that physicians charge for refilling prescriptions when they're not physically present uh, for that assessment. Uh, so if it's appropriate, uh, our pharmacists will be able to um, work under the scope of their professional discretion and professional practice to extend those uh, prescriptions to ensure the continuity of care uh, and uh, they would have to do the appropriate assessments to ensure that one, we're communicating with the prescriber if, if they are taking the lead and, and, and providing your care, if it's uh, something that's of your best interest and the pharmacy agrees and the pharmacist agrees and feels that it's within their professional scope to do that, they would, they would extend that to, uh, to, to support your health management. Um, but to answer the specific question, we would work with any anybody that has prescribing authority in Alberta. Um, there is also a question about how Arda Rx will be handling supplements. Yeah, so uh, kind of touched upon it briefly uh, in the presentation, but we have some uh, relationships in the, in the pharmacy space, then they're working very diligently on uh, providing us with uh, 
quality products and 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 cost effective pricing. Uh, so if if you want to order, uh, if you have a specific supplement you'd like to order with your prescription medications, then we would be happy to include that with your delivery of your medications. Um, if we, and we would do our best to to access those those supplements uh, that that you wanted. We have a relationship with McKesson Canada. That's uh, one of the largest uh, warehouse uh, pharmaceutical distributors in Canada. Um, and if there are other relationships we need to build, again, this goes to kind of the, the tailored service to our members. We would love to build those relationships and provide you what you need. Okay, maybe we'll just wait a couple more seconds to see if any more questions come in. Sure. I'll also say that we do have um, plan comparison booklets and corresponding rate sheets, and we'd be more than happy to send you a copy if you want to take some time comparing the plan differences. Um, if you send an email to marketing at arda.net uh, with your ARDA member ID number, we can either email you a copy or mail you a copy uh, physically, uh, whatever you prefer. So I will put that email address in the chat as well. Uh, we don't currently have a separate webinar on our emergency travel insurance specifically, but if there are any questions, we can answer them uh, here today as well. I don't I don't see any more questions popping up, but usually when I start this, a question pops up. So, um, so this presentation again will be posted on the Arda channel um, on YouTube. Um, so if, again, if you want to go back and watch the presentation, um, you can just go visit that the YouTube channel and take a look at this presentation. Um, it should be up by um, tomorrow morning or uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, Gary, there is one question that they're new ARDA members, so welcome. Uh, and could you give a brief overview of the emergency travel insurance that ARDA offers? You know, you have it memorized. So yeah. <laughs> that was my fault. Uh, ARDA <laughs> provides emergency travel coverage, uh, unlimited number of trips, up to 92 days per trip. You don't need to inform us of when you are traveling outside of your province of residence or when you return. But in the event of a claim, you do need to have proof of when you left your province of residence. So most commonly, that would be a boarding pass for an airline. So hold on to your boarding pass. That proves that you left your province of residence uh, within the past 92 days. And in the event of a claim, you would qualify if you want to go for longer than 92 days, we do have supplementary travel available. Uh, and that is available in 15 day units for up to 212 days. I always tell people to get the additional coverage in case you think you're going to need it. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. We can add supplemental travel while you are outside of your province of residence as long as there have been no claims paid in your current trip. If you have made a claim, you may not be able to add supplementary travel and you may have to return home prior to the end of the 92nd day. If you do purchase it in advance and end up returning home early, uh, for example, if you bought two 30-day units or two 15-day units to increase your single trip from 92 days up to 122 days, but you end up coming home on day 100, you haven't used any of the 16 or the second unit. And so the premiums would be returned to you for that second 15 day unit. If you are traveling, uh, at, or sorry, if you have a trip booked and you cannot go on your trip, if you've fallen ill or you're uh, spouse has fallen ill or the person you were about to visit has fallen ill uh, or you had damage to your home, there's a long list of reasons and you need to cancel your trip, you can actually uh, include that coverage through our plan. We have trip cancellation, interruption and delay insurance up to $10,000 per person per trip included in our emergency travel plan. And the best part of our plan is we don't have a stability clause. Virtually every emergency travel plan available in the marketplace has a stability clause, which indicates that if you visited your doctor in the 90 days leading up to your trip, or if your prescription drug changed in the 90 days leading up to your trip, even if that change 
was a reduction in the dosage. Anything associated with that doctor's visit or anything associated with that prescription drug change would not be covered while you are traveling. In other words, exactly when you need it. We don't have that type of clause in our contract. We want you visiting your doctor and we want you responding to changes in your health. If you visit your doctor, uh, it's always a good idea to get a checkup before you leave on a trip. Ask your doctor, am I well enough to be traveling? If your doctor says yes, then you can travel without worry. If your doctor says, I'm a little bit worried about what you're telling me, I want to send you for tests. In that case, cancel your trip, get your money back, and then you aren't going to be put out for your trip. Some people actually avoid going to the doctor prior to leaving on a trip because they know that their stability clause could be triggered. With ARDA and our sudden and unforeseen definition of medical emergency, we are not going to penalize you for looking after changes in your health. So I hope that is uh, sufficient. If you want more information or you want plan details, you can go to artabenefits.net, scroll down to the bottom, click on emergency travel, and the actual plan text is available there for you to reference. There's a couple of questions that have come in in terms of what is acceptable evidence needed when traveling via land, so when driving. Okay, sorry, I'm just typing out another answer sorry. to a different question. Um, I can probably answer that anyways. Uh, so acceptable evidence could be anything from a gas receipt or a lunch receipt, anything that would have the address of the establishment that you made that purchase um, that shows that you returned to your province of residence. Uh, if you're traveling with a spouse, then we would recommend that you both make an individual purchase on your individual credit cards to show that you both returned uh, to your province of residence. Uh, there's also a question on travel advisories. Uh, if the, the question is, once the federal government lifts the non-essential travel ban or advisories and we book a trip, and then if the travel advisory is reinstated, in most of those cases, trip cancellation would not apply if the reason for the travel advisory is COVID-19. Uh, the, travel, the travel insurance industry determined in August of 2020 that COVID was a known event and therefore would not qualify for trip cancellation if a new travel advisory was implemented. However, the travel providers have mostly responded to that issue. Uh, most travel tickets that you can purchase now are either fully refundable or you get a full credit for it for future travel. So check the fine print with the travel provider. There is a good chance that you would either get your money back or you could rebook for a time when the travel advisory has been lifted. Um, there is a question about cruising. Did you kind of want to talk about that, Gary? Um, so when cruising is considered okay again, what is the emergency cruising insurance? Uh, cruises are currently subject to a level four travel advisory as issued by the government of Canada. Uh, level four means avoid all travel. Uh, that being said, we recently changed our emergency travel plan to cover any claims, any healthcare related claims related to COVID-19. So that includes cruises. Even though it's a level four travel advisory, we are covering any healthcare related expenses you get if you contract COVID while on a cruise. Okay, um, I don't see any more questions coming in. So thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, again, you can rewatch this on YouTube or if you have any questions, just email marketing at arta.net. Um, thank you to all of our presenters for joining us today, and I hope everybody has a wonderful afternoon.